This clip will give you a short introduction into what partial derivatives are. And we will again start from the place where we are feeling comfortable, univariate derivatives, univariate functions and their derivatives. So here we have a univariate function. Uh, we have um, a function uh, f of x and we have an input x. And let's say we are interested in the derivative of this function at a particular point, let's say here where x is 1.5. And really what we are asking is, what is the slope of the tangent tangent to the function at that point, at that value of x? Uh, so uh, let's see if I can get a slightly nicer slope or clearer slope going. So we're looking at what is the line that just touches the function at that point and then the slope of that line that is the derivative of that function at that point of x. We call that f prime of x. That's the, the derivative. So of course we had all sorts of course we had all sorts of rules of how we calculated derivatives if we knew the function. So let's look at the multivariate case. Here we have again a surface plot of some sort of multivariate function. Uh, we are having two inputs, nut and hux, and an output, happy. So happy is the result of somehow combining nut for Nutella and hux. Okay, the, um, let's use slightly different notation. Let's call the outcome y and the two inputs Nutella and hux. Let's call them x1 and x2 like so. I will just make notation slightly easier. So we're now asking for derivatives. We're asking for how does a function change if an input changes. So we could ask two questions. In fact, you could ask more questions, but we'll start here with two. How does y change if, and now the first case, we decide to change the value for the input variable x, um, let's see, what do we start with? Let's say x1. So if we decide to change the value of the input variable x1. So let's imagine we are at some point on this function, this little point here, and then we are thinking about how does the value of that function change if we move, if we either increase x1 or decrease x1. We increase or decrease x1 as we are holding the value of x2 constant. So we are moving along that surface from that one point we chose either to the left or to the right, but always keeping the value of x2 constant, only changing the value of x1. So that was our first case, changing x1, holding x2 constant. Now the second case, let's change x2, but hold x1 constant. Okay, so we again, we're choosing to change one variable, holding the other or all others more generally constant. So graphically, we are now moving along the surface to the front or to the back, changing x2, but always at the same x1 value. So what we get then, if we look at this, if we then look at how the value of the function happiness or y changes, we get the partial derivative f prime 2 or in the first case, the partial derivative f1, 1, partial derivative with respect to x1. Sometimes we drop the prime here. Okay, so we just call these f1 and f2. These we call the partial derivatives. So we haven't calculated any yet. This is just conceptually. We are now looking at the slope of either that red or the green line. And that slope will give us the partial derivatives. Now, this was the trick here, holding x1 or x2 constant. And why is that the trick? Because that transforms the problem from a problem in the bivariate space into a univariate problem. So by holding one of them constant, we're really looking at a line. And the line is like a function 
of one variable only and of course you're familiar with this. You know how to calculate slopes in univariate functions. So this holding the other variables constant is a really, really important trick and that will facilitate our formal treatment of partial derivatives enormously. So this is the line we are looking at and we are interested at the slope of this line or if we are holding x2 constant, we are interested in the slope of that green line. Now you will immediately protest because clearly there isn't only one such line only one red line or only one green line. Clearly this all depends on the value at which we fix either x1 in the red case or x2 in the green case. Let's look at the, the red case. Okay, so in the value at which we fix our input variable x1. So here that red line which you see that's fixed at approximately a value of 2 but we could have fixed it at a value of 3 and then the line or the, the line of the slope of which we are interested in looks like this or at a value of x1 equals 1. We get this line and we would be interested in the slope of that line or if we move as far as we almost can to the right let's say to a value of 4.5 for x1 then the red line the slope of which we are interested in looks like this. So we get just different values. Now the important thing of what we get from here is that we have transformed the problem of calculating derivatives in a bivariate function into the univariate world. That means all the techniques about calculating derivatives you have learned for the univariate case will become applicable here. We just have to be careful with the interpretation we are looking at partial derivatives, derivatives which tell us how a function changes if we change one of the input variables keeping all, all others constant.